Bonjour, my soccer universe, for part three of the league uh, jersey review for the 21-22 season. I have not mentioned it in previous videos, but I'm uh, quite proud that for the first time I can have all French club shirts on the background here, which I think is quite cool. However, I also need to say that, yeah, it's still not perfect because there are two teams that are doubling up and uh, in one case even tripling up. It's not all the jerseys up there. I uh, will save this for uh, another video because I have a total of 14 uh, French club jerseys. I don't want to say Ligue 1 jerseys because unfortunately three of these teams that I have are currently in Ligue 2 and there are four jerseys in total from there. I also have realized that these shirts, um, almost all of them have the French national colors except for Nantes. And then there's Monaco, but they're not really French. And this is where we will actually start. But before we start, how did I choose the jersey in this video? I know you can part, watch part one and part two. I took last season standings um, and then I went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And everyone with a number three next to it is in this video. And then I put them in some sort of alphabetical order. This time I realized maybe the order can be a little bit contentious for a French person, but I went with the city name and that's how I did it. So we'll start with Monaco, the only non-French team um, in um, Ligue 1. And I think Monaco and Vaduz from Switzerland are, to my knowledge, the only teams that are not from a particular country. And I mean Wales, yeah, but you know, uh, sovereign nations that play in a different league. So they don't, they don't really have, I mean, Mo Monaco doesn't have an own national team either. Anyway. Uh, saying a lot of wrong thing, things, probably, probably here, so let's not go to the current Monaco home jersey. Um, the first jarring thing is uh, eToro. We are so used to Fedcom that eToro is a little bit uh, weird. However, I do have to say, it doesn't really bother me, uh, honestly. It's not, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it's a sweet sponsor uh, that it's all fitting in the red is nice. Uh, now I'm not sure if this jersey is in the European version because I had a feeling that they have white sleeves because there was something with UEFA. I know that the background is all red so it's basically a red jer uh, jersey with a, um, a white strike out area which is not the classic Monaco look but more than kit regulations which is another video in, in itself. I think overall it's a pretty nice Monaco look. The only thing that I really don't like here is that the crest is all you know monochromatic that the gold is missing which makes it maybe for a nice look here but to be honest I think on a home jersey you should have the full colored crest even, uh, if, even if it fits nicely in the color scheme. Uh, but I think we're here with a strong start. Uh, eight stars if you ask me. Uh, the away jersey I think looks very classy. I mean it does the same kind of monochromatic thing but it's very similar to the one that I have here except this one is really nice because it also has all Monaco flags on here. Here this is just black and then you have a little bit red accent. So um, but there's something about it that I do enjoy. There's some diagonal striping but you know on the other side it's all very abstract as well. Um, I still think it's a strong look. Uh, is it as good as a home jersey? No. I mean, that I don't have a Monaco home jersey in a way it does bug me a little bit, but it's not on the top of my list either. I would go with seven here. And then they have um, a white, um, white dish jersey. I mean, it's off white, more kind of beige leaning with um, also, I mean, here actually the crest looks better because uh, it is the true color. Uh, there is more red on the crest, <laughs> which, 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 which we didn't see the other ones where the focus was on, on white. Now I see that this is, here the crest looks better. I don't even need the gold around it. In any case, uh, the red is too dark though. And the beige, yes, all a little bit off colored. Uh, interesting pattern to be honest. I think Marseille had a, had a similar jersey not too long ago, I think in blue, uh, with kind of the shadow effect. I mean, yeah, I, I can see something nice going on there. Um, again, not exactly super convincing, but not a bad look either. I'm gonna go seven with this one too. And then we go to the team that I'm wearing, Stade Rennes. I'm wearing last season's jersey, which I absolutely love. This season's jersey, not so much, honestly. Uh, it's kind of bland. Uh, it's just red uh, with maybe too many sponsors on there. And especially the, I mean, I have not seen Rennes play though, but if they really have the Ela down there, 
that is weird as it can be. Now, uh, you, I mean, this is also all red, but there's a little bit pattern. There's a little, a little bit black. What I really don't don't like with Puma uh, this season is the strikeout area below the arms. And yes, they put the uh, Hermelin pattern on there from the Breton flag, which I think is a nice touch. I would love to see this a little bit more prominent on the jersey. If it's on the sides, it it's almost like it is not there. I have to say, uh, except for the triangle here, it is rather an underwhelming shirt. Uh, that one uh, really, really leaves me rather disappointed and uh, on the boring side with a weird uh, template. Uh, yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna go four stars here because it it it, it really do, does doesn't do much and I think we can say the same thing about the away jersey uh, which is all it's white you have a full colored crest but other than that there's really not much more on it uh, it's a white jersey with a lots of sponsors I'm sorry I I do like Ren and they had had great jerseys as as of late but this one goes the same way and then. To top things off, Ren probably got the cheapest looking third shirt of all the Puma third shirts. This is not the first time that, that, that we're looking at one of these. Um, to be absolutely clear, I'm probably going against the grain here of short collectors. Um, I actually do like these a little bit more than what they did for the national teams. And the reason is, at least it is bold. You have the stripe and you have the club name on there. Very, very, very bold. What does not work here though? Uh, I mean, colors do work, but uh, Start René is in red, but everything else is in white. So you kind of have the lesser contrast, the club name and the bigger contrast is a sponsor at the Puma logo. So everything detracts away from the club's name, which is never a good look at that. With such a humongous sponsor, if there was only the S, I think this would actually look quite good. My other complaint here is um, that it does look more like a t-shirt than an extra soccer jersey. And Ren has the plainest version. I mean, all the others have at least the uh, crest sublimated all over. Ren is plain. There's not much more. It's just uh, basically a t-shirt. If it was a t-shirt and without a sponsor, I think the sponsor is what really makes these jerseys actually not work especially if you if you have another wording here but without the sponsor i actually could see this being quite attractive in a way now the color scheme is quite good but as i said there are so many quirks in in in, in there and i'm sure they put even more sponsors on there it's league uh, F, uh, after all, unless they only very very best in europe uh which i would not know now uh, but given how bland the other shirts were, it's actually now, if you look at them in succession, it's actually a little bit of a relief to see something different. It's still, I... Uh, you know, I cannot get past the, the cheap feel of it. But then, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm really caught between a rock and a hard place. I am gonna give it four just to say because consistent because it, there is it's also in a way uh, quite bad, but you know not as bad as others. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's. Uh, I need to <laughs> take a breath. A breath. I have to say. I mean, last season I didn't like all that much. Uh, that the season before I think was good, but had 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 also some quirks. This I think is the first uh, time that I see kind of the full Arsenal look. Also, uh, the crest now gets rid of the word mark below, which actually makes it really nice. I have to say, uh, simplified crests are not my thing, but the Reims crest had something going, uh, still has something going for it that I actually quite, quite like. I almost like it better than this uh, round shield that they have, uh, because, you know, round logos, everyone is doing them now, so they did something different. So, and this was three years ago that, that, that I think they changed. Um, so this is classic Arsenal look. I actually really like the little French flag. I do not like the um, white on the front of the, of, of the collar and whether the shadow striping needed to be there. I, 
I understand what Umbro tries to do here, give it a little bit more of a vintage feel, but to be honest, I would go rather deeper with the vintage and that would mean no pattern at all. And then I think we will talk a really, really nice classic shirt. It's not a bad shirt though. Uh, I like this a whole lot better than the um, uh, Ren jersey, but that was not hard to do at all. Uh, but it's not, also not better model. I, I, I would say it's a six star. It's, it's a little bit quirky, but uh, overall it's a good look. Um, there is something about this away jersey in blue with the golden accents. I know, no club colors at all. Uh, also, I know I'm not sure, you know, contrast and so on, but there is something about it that I like. The pattern is basically the crown from the top of the logo uh, turned sideways and then kind of mirroring all over. So uh, that makes it interesting. Um, they have something here. I cannot pull the pull it down, but they have some something. I think they had a nice bluish shirt last season as well. Um, I actually like this better than a home jer jersey. Uh, but you know, if I would get a Rans jersey, although I have realized, as I said, they are all for, uh, this one is a little bit better. But I would probably prefer my still think of the home jersey. The away jersey, I know. What's the landmark in uh, Rans? It's of course the cathedral. And there's a little bit of inspiration taken there by, you know, the lines here on the gray jersey, uh, but it's rather, rather tame. I actually, they should go the Cologne way, where you put the cathedral all over, in a way. Gray, black, with a, with a very, 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 very uh, weak way of putting the cathedral in there, uh, is not gonna put it to my liking. Uh, sorry. That's also... Um, four stars i just do not really like this look let's go to the team that has won the most titles in france still sans saint etienne still they're the only the only, the only one who have, have a star on there and they are still with uh, le coq sportif which is actually something nice and i have to say when you watch uh saint etienne and probably uh, saint etienne is one of those teams that I've, i should get at one point because it would add a little more uh difference back there uh, the green really, really stands out. It's a rather simple template by Le Coq Sportif, but there's something here on the side that kind of uh, give a little bit of interest. Uh, but you know, nothing too fancy. I do like, however, how the um, logo of the Le Coq Sportif and also the back the French flag, that actually sticks out quite nicely. Um, but yeah, it's... It's kind of bang average somewhere there-ish, but I think I, I, I actually like it, so I would give this a six star as well. Uh, the away jersey, <sighs> no, I don't like this one better. I mean, you see the pattern, the pattern on, on the side, but the color is just plain weird. I, I do not like it when, you know, this, it tries to be a short color, but it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then only on one side with the green on the cuffs, uh, <laughs> it's home jersey. Oh, Jersey did not have that. Nah, uh, not gonna go much better. This is a five. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm saying it. And then um, our favorite look. I mean, ever since last season, black and gold jerseys are everywhere. And I hate it when there's a trend and everyone does it. Everyone needs, needs, needs to copy this one. This one, though, has something special. That will that will always make this jersey stand stand stand, stand out and egg, and egg actually give it a great look. There is the coat of arms of the city on there. This is a feature I absolutely love. I actually am not sure if I would love love, love more instead of the crest, but you know, nah, leave, leave leave it as is. I think as a third jersey, uh, really good looking. I wouldn't. I actually would van, venture to use some metallic green on black. Could look even better. But I think it's a strong look. I'm going to give this a 7. I, I actually like this one quite some. And then we have the newly promoted team, uh, also Le Coq Sportif. We have Trois. Uh, have the same kind of thing on the side uh, that the uh, uh, Saint Etienne George jer jer said. But other than that, it's run, it's pretty average. In many ways, I cannot say much more. Uh, I like the colors. The main sponsor is a bit too big for my like. like but I do like that the ones on the shoulders are really riding high. Um, but it's not a bad jersey. I want to show you the back uh, had me really 
um, below the, 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 you have Jaguar, Land Rover and Volvo Premium. I mean, all three brands. It's, uh, that is a little bit too much, but other, other than that, I, I, I would say uh, it's also a six star uh, shirt. And then we finish off with the away shirt, which actually keeps the blue sides which makes it quite nice looking. I think that uh, if Santa Ten would have done something like that, I actually would uh, think I like this quite some. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really distinguish it too too much from the home jersey in my opinion, so I'm also gonna stay six. I have to say my French reviews at the moment, they are rather, I'm very much down the middle. And I always say that Ligue 1 has probably some of the, it's one of the most underrated league for collectors because there are always some nice shirts in there. But for some reason, this season I have not seen a really, really, really outstanding one, but let's see. In any case, I would like to know how you like the jerseys in this video, where you agree and where disagree with my ratings. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.